Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I am finally... My cat is knocking my uh, camera. I am finally packing for my honeymoon. Mine and Leo's honeymoon. We leave tomorrow. And I'm just now packing, which is fine, but it's also not fine because I'm probably gonna have to wash laundry. Which means I'll probably be up pretty late tonight doing laundry, but my fault, I procrastinated. So yeah, I'm 17 weeks pregnant and going on my honeymoon. What of it? We are going to St. Thomas, United States, Virgin Island. And I'm really excited. We are leaving tomorrow night and then we don't even end up, which is like Wednesday night, we don't get into the island until 4.30 the next day, so that kind of sucks. And then we have a 19 hour day of travel, three flights, which is standard, but then we have two super long layovers. They're like two four hour layovers. Well, hey, so it's gonna be a long day tomorrow, but we'll make the most of it. We um, don't really have a whole lot planned for the trip, but I'm gonna do my best to take you along. It might be a lot of like iPhone footage versus my camera. And then I also have my brother's GoPro, which I need to charge up tonight. So uh, a few things we do have planned is like, we have a dinner reservation at a nice restaurant there. We're gonna go snorkeling one of the days. And I think that might be all that we actually have like planned planned, but I forget. I need to look back at our itinerary. So I'm gonna get started packing, catch up on some YouTube videos, and I'm just gonna take you along with me on our honeymoon. So welcome to the start of it. Okay, you guys, it's the next day. Last night I was just packing and it was kind of boring and I didn't want to consume 10 minutes of a video with just picking out my clothes. So, uh, so yeah, I need to rework this packing situation. We're leaving, we're getting picked up in two hours to go to the airport. So I'm kind of on final crunch time. I've cleaned the house. I've stocked up the animals, food and water, uh, I've done almost all of my checklists that I wanted to accomplish before we leave, but I have like five more things and packing is number one. So time for me to finish this up and I guess we'll just probably see you guys either at the airport or literally when we get to St. Thomas. So see ya when I see you. St. Thomas, and we're in St. Thomas. Thomas. It's been 20 hours since we left Montana, but we're here. Let's do a little tour before I forget. Maybe. Okay, this is our room view. We're staying at Margaritaville. There's the ocean. The closest water to our room is this fire hydrant. Ooh. We should turn it on and watch the... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Room tour. Super simple. Living room, dining room, bed, kitchen, and a bathroom. Dun, 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 dun. Toilet works great. We already broke it in. <laughs> Do you poop again? Don't do that, it's literally like ever. Look at these handles. This is modern. Oh sweet, I can iron all our stuff. Iron. Which we need to do. It's all wrinkly. It comes with a uh, it comes with, blender. Yeah, yeah, margarita blender, margarita cups, but no, no rum or Rora, margarita Rora, mix. Rora. Leah wants the rum. I want the margarita mix. Uh, but it's like just after five o'clock here. And we haven't eaten since early. And I'm getting starving sick. So I'm gonna change. We're gonna brush our teeth. Homeboy hasn't brushed his teeth for like 48 hours. It's fine. That is not true. When did you brush your teeth last? 36 hours ago. Okay. Come <laughs> My on. My bad. 
So we're gonna go do that and we're gonna go grab our first dinner at the Margaritaville restaurant because we're not going off the resort tonight. Do we tell them about the experience driving here? Oh, so on the way up. They probably can't hear you. They can hear me. On the way up, we got a we got a taxi from the airport here and it was insane. First of all, people drive on the left side of the road, but the steering wheels are also on the left. Is that normal? I don't know. I guess no, I didn't the, realize the that. steering wheels. So the are cars normal, are normal, but but you drive on the wrong side of the road. So at every and corner, the I was roads like, are only big enough for like one vehicle. Oh yeah. I thought we were gonna get hit. So if many anyone times. does this, do not rent a car. Taxi. And if you do, have great insurance. <laughs> every bumper is missing on every vehicle in this place. I thought we were gonna get T-bone. There's like no yields, no stop signs. You just lots of you honking. have to be respectful. Yeah, there was a lot. Of there was chicken fights going on downtown, and uh, it was kind of ghetto, but you know it's cool. Yeah. It's not bad. We're on the resort now, and that kind of, literally the second you get on the resort, it changed, like, the whole scenery and the vibe. The gated and the, community. We got golf carted to our room, because it's, like, all on big hills and stuff, and we got wristbands that get us into our room. We got a magazine that has the lowdown of what to do around here, and probably tomorrow we'll spend most of our day at Red Hook, which is where the nightclubs are. So even though I'm pregnant, we're going to a nightclub. <laughs> Well, they got a lot of they got a lot of stuff there. That's Food, the, drink, whatever, yeah, everything. You know. So, yeah. But Darby okay. just wants to go clubbing so bad. It's not tonight. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go eat, but I'm gonna take you guys with me. A lot of it's just gonna be on my phone footage. So, see you at dinner. One more thing while I spruce up. I brought my wifey perfume, which is the one I bought for the wedding, and I only get to wear it on marriage-associated events, occasions, celebrations. Oh, See, this is such a good thing to do. Come smell me. Does it smell like our wedding? I can already smell it, yeah. Oh, that's such a good idea. I recommend that to all brides and grooms. Pick out a wedding day cologne. We should have done it for you. I don't know why we didn't. I can smell the wedding. Delicious. Guys, now we have a little island cat. Come here. Way less scary than a dog. Come here. Hi, kitty. Yes, this is what we needed. A cat away from home. Hi. Hi. Come here. Who are these things? <laughs> Hey Gabe, on my vlog. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it was just a really bad angle, so I had to roll with it. Okay, it is uh, Friday at, what time is it even? 10 o'clock even? It is like 10, 9.52 a.m. And we've been out and about doing things. We woke up kind of early. We went to this area called Red Hook for breakfast and Leo got, I promise he's in shorts, that's not underwear. Uh, <laughs> Duh. He got the breakfast burrito and I got massive pancakes. They were like three of them as big as these ceiling blades. <laughs> and I was wearing these shorts and I realized I cannot wear high waisted shorts. Why is it all being blurry? With this growing stomach. So Leo was too hot in his pants, so he went and bought shorts and I got a free hoodie out of it. Then we came back and changed because. We're dying. Check this out. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. This is all business, right? Ain't nothing special going on here. But 
when activated by the qualities of water, you get fishies. <laughs> Once again, wet hand, fishies. They were expensive shorts, but it was buy one get one free, so we bought an equally expensive sweatshirt. Um, what are we doing today? We have a sunset dinner, or not dinner cruise, but a sunset cruise with, I think it comes with a charcuterie board and champagne, which neither no, of us. It's not like, this is important. It's not shark. No, it is shark. Ootery. <laughs> shark eatery board. So we're gonna go walk around. We don't really know where, but you'll see. <laughs> okay, we just got to Honeymoon Beach and we have to walk. They don't allow you to get shuttled down. Ain't never seen one of these signs before. <laughs> Walking back, we're at the beach and um. <laughs> Show them the tattoo. Where's it at? Another side. Oh shoot, I'm gonna have to move up. I hope you can see it. <laughs> My pizza delivery boy. -da -da. <laughs> A personal pizza for Darby and Perry. Thanks. Ooh, Look that's that. so good. Oh, it's homemade. Okay. That ain't no frozen stuff. Look at all these chickens. 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 About to go on a, a sunset cruise. People around me. I don't want to tell you what we're up to. We're about to go get on a sunset cruise tour on this boat. Can you even see it? I don't know.
Epstein's Island. We saw, we saw his island. Grab it. We're at Koki Beach, chilling, waiting on water and corona. Then we're going snorkeling, I think. So Leo and I have basically done nothing today except for sleep. <laughs> but now here we are. Dressed all fancy for dinner. Leo booked us a reservation at like one of the nicest restaurants on the island. So we're heading there in... Oh, we need to go catch a cab in five minutes. So we're gonna go do that. And I think I ruined my burks. I got sand all over them and they're all sticky. You burke your burks. I broke my burks. I burke my burks. You burke your burks. Look at my belly. She looking big-ish, kind of. Can you even tell? I can tell. <laughs> uh, we went to Koki Beach earlier today. We paid the cab driver to take us there and it was 500 feet away so we just walked back uh, but it was really windy cold crowded everything here is expensive which makes sense but food is like dumb amounts of money and it doesn't the cheeseburger that i had at the beach was, it was trash whack. it was the wackest <laughs> cheeseburger ever the trash oh it was gross it was so seasoned that it was like it was like yellow yellow <laughs> it was gross so I got some cheap ice cream to make myself feel better and walked back. So hopefully tonight's dinner goes better than earlier. Can you button both my sleeves? What else are we doing? We, we had no plans for today and it ended up being a no plan day. And that's fine. And that's fine. Because kind of. we do what we want. Kind of. Okay, so we're gonna go catch a cab and go to dinner. And I'll show you what we end up ordering. Yeah, it's gonna be so good. They have three hundred dollar wines. Leo's about to order a three hundred dollar wine. Okay, we're at the start of the course. Um, pork belly. This is pork belly. Uh, and this is a lobster dish. That's crazy, man. Oh, that's a lot of meat, right? What's that? That's a lot of meat. It is a lot of meat. You cut yourself a piece? <laughs> Maybe. You're gonna have to. After we went swimming. So now we're playing this. Today. It was just downpouring and then it stopped right as I got the camera. Oh, the rain here is so wild, it stops and now it's pouring again. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. You can see it right there. He's a tropical storm. It's like we're not going to the beach. <laughs>
So yesterday, we were walking along the beach and I found a coconut, or Leo found the coconut, and I really wanted a coconut, so we grabbed the coconut. We we're gonna harvest it back in our room, drink the coconut milk. Homeboy, <laughs> he was rolling it across this ledge that overlooked a canal, and he dropped it. It fell in the canal. He dropped it in the canal, and it's still just sitting there absorbing disgustingness. But look at what he just got. A bigger coconut. Wait. Nothing in it. I mean, not with that attitude. <laughs> We're gonna have to break it open. But I got some ice cream. Leo got a drink. And we're just hanging out on our front little porch thing until who knows when. Oh yeah, the sharp rock. Can you go with me a paper towel one time? Coconut water. I'm nervous to try it. It hurts. Oh, that's so sweet. Is it? Yep. <laughs> that is disgusting. It's coconut water. And that's how you harvest the coconut. That was really gross. Okay, it's our last full day here, and we're going snorkeling. Look at my cool outfit. It's so fun. It's so festive. <laughs> it's so paradise. <laughs> uh, we were supposed to be going snorkeling this morning, but we didn't have enough people to fit their uh, quota, I guess, in order to pay the crew. So we switched it to, sorry if it's blurry, we switched it to an afternoon one, so it's like six hours of snorkeling and lunch and an open bar. So Leo will be drunk, I'll be looking at sea turtles. Oh, okay. And I it'll be a good day. I have water at the open bar too, you know. Have you drank water at any of the open bars we've been at? No. <laughs> no. So we're gonna go get breakfast down at this little marketplace really quick and then head down to the thing. Uh, I have Ryan's GoPro, but I forgot to double check that it had the waterproof capabilities and it doesn't, so hopefully we can rent one or something. Hopefully we see something cool. I wanna see a sea turtle. I would be accomplished at seeing that. Leo doesn't wanna see anything. <laughs> I, I wanna see coral. <laughs> he wants to look at coral, but the fish freak him out. So, we're gonna go do that. Oh, guys, 
because they had to plant them twice after the hurricane. That's true. None of them are foreign to the islands. Wait, they're all foreign. They're all foreign. None are indigenous. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and this up here is the uh, music room. I guess it's like an auditorium kind of. He had a grand piano. And world class acoustics. And they say that every song he played up there was in the key of A minor. did like the afternoon snorkel thing and at the first we did like two different stops so the first stop we saw sea turtles like quite a few of them I want to say there was like five in the general area and then a stingray and then we popped over to a different location and there was more of like coral reefs kind of they weren't as cool as I thought they were gonna be and there weren't any like exciting wildlife creatures no sharks they said they've seen sharks there before and there was one the day prior to but today it was just like a bunch of different types of fish which were obviously cool to see but the first spot was cooler with the turtle and the stingray so we did that and then they picked up some pizza the bar was open leo took advantage of that i took advantage of the snorkeling we even out the playing field here and then we just stopped by this restaurant called the easterly on our way back it was a super cute like cute aesthetically restaurant and I just got some dessert. Leo had a cocktail and now we're back at the hotel. Um, Leo went up to the pool. I'm going to take my last resort shower. This is the most I've showered in one week in a long time. <laughs> I literally brought two bottles of like travel dry shampoo. So stupid. I should have known it was going to be sandy and beachy and needing to shower every single night. So I'm going to shower and start packing up. We don't leave here until like six tomorrow night. We need to be at the airport around four probably, but our checkout is at 10 and they wouldn't let us push checkout till noon. So we have to find like a weird gap of what to do with our time tomorrow with our luggage. And it's probably not gonna be enjoyable, but we'll figure it out. So that kind of wraps up our honeymoon. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I feel like every time I checked in with you guys, I was back at the resort, which is whatever. I didn't really want to vlog in public, but that was it. I'll try and like think of maybe a few more things I want to tell you guys if I think of anything, but if not, I think I'm going to end it here and I'll see you guys in my next video.